Hey guys, welcome back. Here I am today with the H501S. The H501S by Hubson. And it was one of the uh, first quads of its size to come with uh, FPV, altitude hold, GPS hold, um, camera, like 5 megapixel camera, shoots video. Um, but the only thing I had, the only issue I had with it was the range. The range was kind of suspect to me. I mean, I would get dropouts on and off at around, let's say, 200 meters. It would cut in and out. And the range was about, you know, the most I got was 450, which is not bad. But for the price, you would think that, it, you know, you'd get at least 1,000 meters. So, um, what I went and did was I went on Banggood saw that they were they had a range extender so it finally came in the mail yesterday so this is the patch antenna for the FPV it says 14 dBi 5.8 gigahertz antenna that's how that looks and this is the control range antenna and I guess these are the wires that you would uh, connect them to and uh, I guess I'm going to have to drill a couple holes here and here because uh, I guess there are no holes for it so I guess I'm going to have to get dirty. Alright, stay tuned. I'll get right into it. Alright, so one more screw to go. And we'll see what's inside here. Okay, let's just, I guess we just pry it apart and check out what's inside. Uh oh. Okay. That's pretty simple, no wires attached or anything like that, so that's a good thing. Probably should have took the batteries out, but okay. I'll take them out right now. I don't short anything out. Alright. Okay, so that's how it looks on the inside, guys. Alright, so it should be pretty straightforward. Um, I guess the wire from the uh, FPV would be connected. Uh, Guess he would connect this. I guess I would drill a hole through here and here and just connect these wires. I don't know if you guys can see that. Right in there. Hey guys, that was simple enough. So I guess I would uh, disconnect this wire right here. If you guys can see that. And I would connect this one. I guess it, this would be the FPV. And I think there's some, uh, yeah, just disconnect. It should be pretty straightforward. Just disconnect this. And just run it through that. Drill the hole. Just run it through that and reconnect this wire right here. And the same with the other side. I guess it would be the control range. Put it right there. Drill right through. Connected. Seems straightforward to me. All right, I'll be back. Here we go. Went all the way through. That might be perfect. Well, these holes look about right. Let's see. Oh yeah, those should go in no problem. Okay, so I got the holes drilled at the top here and I just got to disconnect the control range antenna this has some hot glue on it just using a steak knife whatever doesn't matter just pry that thing off I'm trying not to hit any other wires obviously 
and with this connection here just pop it up just, I don't know yep just flip it up with your knife or whatever thing you use to get it off and same with the other one this is the FPV side I guess it's just uh, it's hot glued on there so um, just gonna sort of wedge it in there uh, okay well comes off pretty easy and same thing as the other side just just pull it upwards towards yep yeah, it came off pretty easy okay so that's the FPV range antenna okay almost finished I finally got this thing through um, this thing is uh, this nut is a bit big so you can you almost have to pry this to the side a bit in order to get this thing through so I did that and all that's left to do is connect this thing here to here and let's see how easy that is might not be so simple with my one hand here as you can see I just finished connecting the control range wire here it took a, a few minutes actually you sort of have to put it over and sort of twist it in it wasn't easy but it's just be careful you don't break the wire and I'm just gonna do the other one for the FPV well guys it's done it's uh, all connected I'm just gonna put some hot glue on these uh, connections just for my own peace of mind and I don't want them falling off or anything so this is just to secure it on you don't have to but you never know this one there and this side just a dab just to make sure it doesn't fall off in uh, mid-flight and I just gotta tighten up the top put the antennas on and good to go okay guys I'm back um, I got the back cover back on battery door and these things are all connected so I'm just gonna uh, connect the antennas That one and that one. And that's it. Let's give a quick test, see if we got a signal. Okay. Let's try it. And we seem to have a signal. So, all is well. So whenever I get a chance to take this out and see how far I can get this thing, you guys will be first to know. Alright guys, thanks for watching.